just love so dearly, and I look forward to this event to be able to <coughs> reconnect and, and catch up on what's going on in your life, and uh, I just think that the relationships that we have here are invaluable, and um, Rusty, we are so, we probably don't realize how blessed we are to be a part of your organization. Uh, I know that there are not senior national sales directors across the country putting on events like this, especially just for their women. I mean, that's just a, that's a big deal. Rusty, you know, he's he's pretty wealthy. He doesn't need to do this stuff for himself anymore. But you know, that's what's not that's not what's important to him. What's important to him is helping us grow and to become uh, the kind of people we're meant to be and, and to taste the kind of life that, that he's been able to live. And so we're so blessed uh, to have to have Rusty um, as our leader. And um, I want to thank our teammates back in Oklahoma. Matt and I are just blessed to represent you and, and so excited about the group that we have. Um, I also want to uh, to thank my incredible husband of, of uh, 16 plus years who for the last 12 months has been a big part in helping to organize this event. Um, I know that... Uh, yes! Yeah, Uh, and that's the kind of intuition as a leader he has. 
Um, he, you know, when our production is up, that's when, you know, I think most leaders would expect the most praise, but that's not really when he praises us. He praises us, you know, he pushes us, he challenges us to do more, but he really praises us most when our production's down and when our belief may not be where it should be. Uh, that's a, I think there's a huge lesson in that. So he builds, he builds us up and makes us feel like superstars with letters and cards and, you know, of course, phone calls. And he's never made us feel like we weren't the greatest leaders on the face of the planet. And it's easy to understand why people would move across the country for him and move to a city maybe where they knew no one and start the base shop from scratch uh, because people loved him and played for him that hard. It's exactly what, what we feel. We, we gave him all this year of making 300000 We hung out at, at 200000 for a really long time. Uh, we had 200000 in income our 38th month in Primerica. And uh, we're getting ready to celebrate our 15th year. So we've had an amazing, blessed life, but we're not living up to our full potential. And I'm taking away opportunities from the ladies in our business to be able to grow more because if we want them to grow more, we've got to grow our vision. So hitting 300000 to do what we said we were going to do and make art proud, that probably drives me more than $300,000. It's, it's, the, it's the commitment that uh, we made to him. The, uh, the second thing is to create a business philosophy and to stick to it. Uh, you got to play your game in your market. And what I've learned uh, these last few years is that I was trying to do Primerica uh, in 2014, I think was when I really kind of came to this real realization. I was trying to do Primerica in 2014 with 2004 thinking. Yeah. And just as Terry so beautifully articulated, that was incredible. Man, I could listen to you talk for hours. That was awesome. To have somebody that has that kind of insight to come in and, and, and express our business as well as you did. You hit it on the, I hit it on the nail. Um, but, uh, and I lost my train of thought. Okay, so play your game in your market. So I was, you know, I've been trying to do Primerica in 2000 and, with 2004 thinking, and a lot has changed in, in the last few years. And even ARC has admitted that a lot has changed. And, you know, our market's really not what it was in the, in the 70s and in the 80s. And, and people don't, um, I don't think, have maybe the same work ethics or the same ways that we build relationships like he did when he was building the business. And so changing and, and adapting and growing and, and working with the millennials, it's been, Rusty, I love you for saying young lady because I'm really struggling. I'll be 40 this year. And for some reason, I'm like, I'm still a college DJ. I, I just don't understand how 40 is here already because I just don't feel 40. But, uh, man, so, uh, so we, you know, we've really been changing the way, uh, thinking about the way we do things and adapting. Uh, so some big things, because we're focused on, on building a, hier a hierarchy, which means lots of firsts and seconds and third generation RVPs. So these are some of the points that uh, he has really challenged us on, that we've made some incredible strides and changes in our business. So recruiting four to five pointers 90% of the time. If we looked at our office maybe four or five years ago, we had a lot of single people in our office. And this doesn't, I'm not saying this because single people can't win in Primerica, but the majority of your office needs to be four to five pointers. Because who do four to five pointers know? Other four to five pointers. Which means that you're going to see a more market and you're going to write better business and you're going to write more balanced business. You're going to write all lines of business. It just, everything improves when you're working in the right market. So our office, when I look at our office today, it's all couples. It's all couples. We have a few people who are single, but they know, they know that they've got to build with couples. So our office is all couples, which is incredible. Uh, it took us some time to focus on that and get there, but, but we've done it. We work in a qualified warm market. Our guys are terrified to even tell me about an appointment that's not, I mean, they won't even tell me about an appointment that's not qualified because they know I'm not going on it. And, and that was a culture we had to create. And, and again, so, so very important because if, if I'm going to take somebody on an appointment, I want them to see success. And I can stack the odds of success in our favor by seeing people who need what we do. I can't promise that when I'm on a, 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 an appointment that's not qualified. Um, and then if you think about the millennial generation, that's important to them. Relationships are important to the millennial market. Quality of life is important to them, maybe even more so than money. I, I read an article about millennials really kind of changing the two-week vacation and how companies view that. And there are a lot of companies that are going to a, a no-vacation rule uh, where 
there's no rule about vacation. You can leave whenever you want to, as long as you get your job done. Now, you may not be compensated, but for a millennial, it might be more important to them to have that kind of freedom. What better place than Primerica, right? So we've got to build in that, in that warm market to continue finding those great millennial leaders. Shield your people with a consistent message. Be the loudest voice in their head. So our message is to build a balanced business with people under management and assets under management. You can build uh, an incredible income here with investments, but I don't want to be the person that people are calling 15, 20, 30 years from now to handle their investment accounts, right? I want to have uh, a huge, huge organization of RVPs that are that are building, you know, their people under management and their assets under management. So there's a lot of different ways you can do Primerica, but that's our business philosophy is both people and assets under management. Um, License more people and make it a culture. That has changed in our business tremendously. We're at five life, uh, life licenses so far this month with several more people who have their test set. We have 17 who have their U4s in and are studying for their securities test right now. I'm jacked up about that. Not only because of the $500 bonus for them and for us, but because that's where the 17 people getting their securities licenses, that's incredible. That is incredible. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm way behind in the investment world. I have about 18 million under management, and I really only started focusing on that maybe five or six years ago. So I'm so excited about you know, what, what that's gonna look like with a bunch of people focused on doing that. Uh, Build direct teams that can do five by five without you. So you've worked in those teams, you've taprooted, you've developed some people for them, but they can do five by five without you. And the lead of that team is getting a securities license. Those, that's how you're building many RVPs, and, and Art just constantly hammers that. Who are you working with? Who you have you know, that can do five by five outside of you? Uh, I'm so proud of, of uh, Lynn Carlson, who is, I know, just so worn out right now, uh, driving back and forth to Nebraska, training her daughter Shelby and building a team for her in Nebraska. But once she gets that team to five by five, she's going to be able to not stop making as many trips and, and, uh, and to be back, you know, be back here and do it all over here. But uh, again, that's, uh, that's what it takes to win, right, Lynn? Um, promote someone every month. I want to congratulate Sarah and Chris Wiggins. Sarah is brand new in our business, and she just got her senior rep promotion yesterday. Uh, and, and the recruit showed up, and she's here. I'm like, how do you do that? But that's pretty awesome. Now her husband helped, and then her husband and his best friend are in class this week in licensing class. So congratulations to, uh, to Sarah and Chris. This was the first time she left her baby behind. She has a 16-month-old, and the first time she's ever left her behind was to be here this weekend. So very proud of her. Yes. And I also want to, uh, to congratulate Raylena and Dusty Soto. These guys stepped out in faith, got their, their divisions, but they've been RVP since we met them. They just, they just don't have the contract yet. But they got their own office space because... They wanted to be leaders. They wanted to be running their own training. They wanted to be doing... Now, she's an exact replica of me. I don't have to worry about that. But I know when to get out of the way and let leaders lead. Was I a little nervous at first? I was. But like Art teaches us, man, you got to promote often and promote early. So promoting early. Now, she doesn't have a contract yet. But guess what? Guys, she's an RVP before she's an RVP. She's got she's gonna have all that office stuff down, which is really exciting. Eric and Abel just found out that they've got a couple in their office doing the exact same thing. Regional leaders about to be RVPs opening their own office. That's exciting for us. That'll be our fifth location. So uh, Matt and I are pretty fired up about having five physical locations. That's exciting. That's what this business is all about. Focus on part-timers and getting the right ones full-time. Our, you know, that was what, you guys realize the paycheck that changed everything for Art was like $322. It was the most he had ever made, and he made that on a life sale. Changed his world. Changed it. We wouldn't be sitting here if it weren't for Art making that, that paycheck back then, and then obviously founding Primerica and the opportunity that we have today. But part-timers, I think we really kind of lost focus on part-timers. That's the lifeblood of our business. The majority of our 100,000 representatives are part-timers. And we need to sell that story more. I'm so proud of Nicole McDonald, who's a radiation therapist by day, but working in Primerica. She walked across the stage for first place in personal coats, focused on the right thing. She's an absolute stud. Louise <coughs> McMillan, who's back in the back with her sweet boy, uh, brand new baby. She came off maternity leave and didn't want to go back to work. So Nicole came into her life and said, hey, you should really look at this. So became a client. They came to work with us and decided this past week to be here this weekend. 
And that's uh, just so proud of those gals who uh, who are doing it part time right now. It's the toughest time in the business being full time elsewhere and being here. But if they can keep that up and uh, keep focusing on the end game, nothing will ever be the same. Uh, and this business is tough. The last point uh, that Art talks about all the time is, you know, this business is tough. It's tough, but it's meant to be tough. If it weren't tough, it wouldn't be worth it, right? Um, but there's nothing else like this for someone like me and someone like Matt and, 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 and someone like you. There's nowhere else we could go, Bonnie Jardy, and make the kind of money, make $35,000 in one month helping people doing the right things. Is there any place like that that we could go? There's not, right? Uh, that's, that's legal, and, right? So, uh, uh, but building a business and getting financially free is not easy, and it, it was never meant to be. I, I want to um, I want to recognize Ava Hatton, who's here. This is her third um, power of the purse event. And Ava and James <coughs> lost everything in the Moore tornado two years ago. And their lives are still not back together. They still don't have a home. They're doing a lot of it themselves to save money. And, to, and I, I just, um, I'm so proud of her that she's still here. Uh, Christina and Kara Schott are here today. And their mom, Edie, who was crushed in the tornado. Many of you guys prayed for her and heard her story. Uh, she's here as well. She's in a different hotel that had better, uh, better uh, facilities for someone in a wheelchair. Uh, but I'm just proud of these gals for not giving up. They, they had incredible life challenges, and they didn't give up, and they're still here. And in Primerica, the beautiful thing about our business is that we can win. You know, there's seasons in Primerica, and your season right now may be taking care of a young one. It might be taking care of aging parents. It might be doing something that you've got to get done, but the important thing is is not to lose sight of why you're here and what you can accomplish. And just because you're not winning now doesn't mean that you won't be winning six months from now or 12 months from now or 24 months from now, right? So you, you just absolutely cannot give up. So I'm so, so, so proud of them. Uh, and then uh, we joined Primerica to get free, both with time and with money. This is the last thing. One of the things that Art had us do, he, he really kind of um, dissected our business. He asked us to send him our finances, how much do you have saved, do we have in debt, and that was a very humbling experience. And uh, we've made more progress, we've made more progress in the last three years financially because we were focused on it, right? Because we got, we all came here to become debt-free and financially independent, right? We want to create a lot of families like that, but for our families first, right? So if we're not doing those things to put us in those positions, shame on us, ladies. We need to have a map. We need to have a, you know, we need to be doing those things that we teach our clients to do. And I'm so excited because, you know, it wasn't easy, but we, we really got skinny financially with our office expenses and rethought some things. Art really challenged us to, to redo some of the ways that we, you know, we hold training and our recognition and our expenses and, and um, our, our residual income, what we know we can count on every month from life earns and securities earns and managed account earns is 6000 a month. So $6,000 a month, and that's $1,000 away from paying all of our personal expenses and all of our business expenses, office manager, you know, everything, right? So we are focused on residual income. I wasn't focused on that three years ago before Art came into our lives. Get focused on your residual income. Some of you who are new here, you can create a residual income in 24 months that, you know, 24, 36 months that could replace what you make right now, and you're going to get that the rest of your lives. I mean, that's an incredible thing that we have uh, that we have a chance to do. So I'm so proud of Eric and Abel Rangel. Those guys live beyond, or live below their means, way below their means. But they've got big things they want to do, and they know that the payoff is coming down the road, right? It's temporary sacrifices so that they can have an amazing life uh, that they could have never lived otherwise. We know that there's a reason that art is in our lives, and Rusty, uh, we promise you to make it obvious. We do. I know I've been telling you that the last few years, but we're going to make it obvious. And uh, we love our team. We've been blessed to work with people who've become our best friends. And uh, what a business. What a blessing we've all been given. So God bless you all. We'll see you in Atlanta.